this is the book I was referring to in my going on a bug hunt video. It's called Under One Brock. Bugs, Slugs, and Other Ugs by Anthony D. Fredericks. Illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio. Here is a field for insects to play in and acres of shade for turtles to lay in with windbrush trees for birds to nest in and sun splash spaces for lizards to rest in. This is where on this summer day, there lay a rock all rough and gray. Can you find the rock? This is the rock. The rough gray rock was discovered by chance by a brown-skinned boy in ragged pants. A curious lad who wondered aloud, what could be hiding in this red, rich ground? He lifted the rock all rough and gray that he saw in the field that summer day. And there he found some buried, buried creatures a village of animals with special features. Can you see them? These are the earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. <laughs> this is the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. This is the spider with their eight-eyed face who builds a home in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels of farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. This is the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. A friend of the spider with her eight eyed face. They live side by side in this cool dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels of and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. Some tiny field crickets who sing with their feet, search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. A friend of the spider with an eight-eyed face they live side by side in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. A sole millipede with a sensitive feel slips through the dirt in search of a meal. He plows by the crickets who sing with their feet and search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. He's a friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig tiny twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd 
on a summer's day. Those six tiny slugs all covered with slime creep over soil, eating most of the time. Past one millipede with a sensitive feel who slips through the dirt in search of a meal and plows past the crickets who sing with their feet that search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. His friend of the He's a friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place, a home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. Below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. The creatures and critters live together as one, beneath the gray rock away from the sun, a collection of neighbors, a large and the small, and the place where they live is home to them all. And here is the field notes. It says, spiders, slugs, ants, and other creatures in this book can be found throughout the world. The specific species described and illustrated in this book are all native to North America. Their habitat, like any other animal's ha habitats, offers a fascinating look at how various ecosystems, food chains, and food webs work. So, we looked at the earthworm. There was a fantastic fact that says the largest species of earthworm live in Australia. They often grow to lengths of nine feet or more. That's like five little owls tied together. That's pretty tall. This one is the ant. And the fast, fantastic fact about them is that ants can lift 50 times their own body weight with their mouths. With their mouths? The spider's fantastic fact was the largest spider in the world is the bird-eating spider of South America. It grows to the size of a dinner plate. That's about the size of this book. Can you imagine a spider this big? It's pretty big. There's the beetle. The fantastic fact was when threatened, the bombarder beetle shoots a spray from its rear end and up to 500 times a second. That's a lot. Field crickets, their fact is, during courtship, male field crickets dance around and sing to excite the females. The millipede's fact was one species of millipede grows up to 11 inches long. That's almost a foot. When it is disturbed, it coils up into a ball the size of a golf ball. Wow. And our friend the slugs. Some species of slugs have more than 200,000 teeth. That's a lot of teeth. Well, that's our book. Under One Rock. I was recording that book under this tree, the citrus tree that we have in our yard. And there are bees. Do you see that? Just enjoying all the blossoms. Just like the blossoms that are happening at Little Owl on our citrus trees right now. So I thought I'd bring a little bit of our school to you guys from my home. Hope you enjoyed it.